In these times of chaos and insecurity, there is at least one thing you can rely on in British politics. When the ashes of the Labour Party are lying scattered across the remains of a Britain brought to its knees by Tory austerity and Trump's nuclear bombs, suspended Labour MP Simon Danchuk will still be sending saucy text messages <laughs> to extremely, but not illegally, young constituents. <laughs> That's right, the Rochdale shagger is at it again. Just a few months after he was suspended from the party for sending flirtatious messages to a 17-year-old girl, Simon Danjuk has got himself caught having sex with a 22-year-old girl on a desk in his office. How does he do it? Well, there's no alchemy at work here. He's just a hard-working man with a fixation on making every single conversation he ever has somehow about sex. Here's one exchange. Do you want to stay or leave in the referendum? I'm being serious, she asks. Stop it. Let's talk about how attractive you are, he answers. <laughs> yes, but Simon, what about Eurovision? Darts, the price of alcohol. I thought we were talking about sex. This, of course, is why they won't let him on the Today programme anymore. Yes, the housing market is suffering from deflation, but I'll tell you what's not suffering from <laughs> deflation, <laughs> Sarah Montague. My dick because I've got an erection. <laughs> he really knows how to turn a phrase, that Simon Danchuk. Here's the next bit. Simon, I'm talking about Europe. You don't take Eurovision into consideration. I'm gonna fuck you so hard. Wow. You won't even think about the fucking Eurovision. Quite an offer. Andy Kelly, the Liberal Democrat candidate for Rochdale, has complained that Simon Danjuk has brought their town into disrepute, but he's clearly just jealous of the mysterious allure over young women which his Labour counterpart somehow wields, a power he himself could only dream of possessing. I mean, I've heard a lot of weird fetishes in my time, but I've never heard anyone go, I don't know what it is, but I've got a real thing about Lib Dems. But the Danjuk texts also paint a picture of a man deeply aware of his own addiction and desperately trying to fight his demons. Here was his response when the unnamed woman asked him to send out a tweet asking for advice on skip hire. I'm not doing some random fucking tweet about a skip in Oldham. It'll end up in some skip scandal, skip gate or something. The sun will be all over it like a rash. There's a reason that Simon Danjuk can never, ever be involved in any kind of skip hire arrangement, because he knows that if he did, it could only end one way, with him inside the skip, butt naked, having sex with a succession of 19-year-old <laughs> constituents <laughs> on a pile of Twix wrappers and broken bathroom <laughs> tiles. And when that happens, the sun won't be the only thing all over him like a rash. I'm talking about an actual rash, of course. That's the price he pays for his terrible addiction. Never being able to hire a skip or go within 50 yards of a public toilet or shrubbery-covered roundabout without fear of falling into yet another ill-advised tryst with a butts and teenager looking for a taste of the high life. Panel, men want to be him, women want to be with him. Is there anything Simon Danchuk can't do? Phil Whelans. No, I think he's, uh, he, clearly, he clearly sees himself as a kind of modern-day Leslie Phillips, although mm. an, ugly, <laughs> an ugly, not suave, <laughs> and from the north, Leslie Phillips, yeah. so a non-Leslie Phillips. Mm. Yeah, he turns everything into double entendre. And I think if he, uh, if he took the son to court, uh, everything the son's lawyer said, I put it to you... Oh, no, I'll, I'll put it to you. <laughs> just be, the, court, the court case would just collapse in a whole series of double entendres. Yeah, it's all he can do. Uh, Angela, just how hard would someone need to be fucked to forget all about Eurovision? Well, I was just thinking exactly... I wish, I wish somebody would fuck me hard enough that I could forget <laughs> about Eurovision. My life would be a better... Even Bucks Fizz, even Gina G, <laughs> all of those memories gone. With her skirts ripping off, I don't no. want to forget. I'll take it back. I don't no, want to be fucked exactly. that hard. She was concerned, this unnamed woman, Ian yes. Lee, about the effect of Brexit on darts and the price of alcohol. Is she really a mystery blonde, or was he actually sexting Bobby George? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, do you know what? The, the, the Dan Chuck would seem to want to put it anywhere, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he, yeah. it, him and Bristow were getting it on. <laughs> it was, it's, it's incredible, though. Let's be honest. We're all just jealous of him, mm. aren't we? You know, that this, so. that this, this man of, of, you know, not, he's not a particularly attractive bloke, but he's obviously got some magnetism that gets girls, I'm going to say a rude word, horny. I, um, I don't know if those texts show that she was horny. 
I think he was definitely the horny one. No, she, she was, was playing a game. She was playing a oh, game. Oh, hang on, there. hang on. Really? I don't like the way you're going hurtful. with that, Ian. Huh? I don't like the sort of what you're implying. What am I that. implying? You're implying that hard to get. I mean, there's young people watching this show. Yeah. Children. Yeah. They may well be children. <laughs> children <laughs> watching <laughs> Sam the Ladies. The the there may well be a lot of... We have a lot of children who tune into the show. They're parents. Because parents know that this is a place where they can be taught about politics and current affairs. What you are saying to those children is if a woman doesn't necessarily respond immediately to your dirty talk, yeah. she's playing a game which means that she really no, wants no, you to you're implying, you're implying I'm a rapist. That's not what I'm saying at I'm all. I'm not saying you're a rapist, but I'm saying you do endorse rape. No, she... <laughs> He's <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell! <laughs> Simon Dancer has a kind of interior... That's how it this can be construed by really the really children. Really. Yeah. How did um, the son get this story? Well, this is what people don't know. But some people think he's in the press so much. Could it be that he welcomes these, uh, well, these he scandals? He wouldn't want this, though. On the desk as well, they had sex mm. on the desk at work. I mean, that's just impractical because you've got computers, you've got pictures of your kids, you've got staplers, you've got... I just think that that is really it's poor part thinking. Of the is it people think that because it was in his constituency office, you know, somebody actually said, well, you're bringing Rochdale into disrepute. And it's like, I think they've had other things. <laughs> 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 it's never been in repute, has no. it? Uh, thanks, panel.